obviously the dirt cheap ones probably aren't going to be the best ones to stop the golf balls they're going to rip really easy send your ball flying through the net to your picture tv wall hey guys david folk here and today we're going to be talking about winter golf this is going to be a multi-part series talk about some things that i think might be beneficial for you guys to take a look at as we get into winter golf maybe be able to hit some swings in your garage chips or whatever whatever that may be and the first one is going to be golf nets you have to figure out what's going to stop the 150 mile an hour plus ball within five six eight ten feet so question of the day do you have a golf net what brand do you guys use how easy is it to set up to tear down put those comments down below if you have any questions about today go ahead and put those down below too i'm trying to get to everybody's comments and questions while you're down there go ahead hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up because youtube likes that and let's go putts around hit the ball <laughs> Golf nets can be really expensive or really dirt cheap. Obviously, the dirt cheap ones probably aren't gonna be the best ones to stop the golf balls. They're gonna rip really easy. Send your ball flying through the net to your picture TV wall. Let's talk about three different types of nets. If you're looking to do simulator use, hit into a net, or if you want to be a portable net. So let's talk about those three. The first one is going to be a high impact screen. That's gonna be for the simulators. The ones that you see at the golf stores that are going to, you're gonna constantly hit into it. It has white screen so you can see where it goes as the ball flies. Those are really, really cool and really, really expensive. You're looking at anywhere between seven and nine hundred dollars just for the screen itself that's not including any sort of enclosures or any sort of hanging things that you're gonna have if you're looking to install something in your basement or in your garage that's going to be more of a permanent fix and you want to have something that looks really really nice that's something that I'm gonna recommend there's also some combo sets you, you can get that have netting on the sides and on the top they, they come with uh, some some cool options and those are gonna range you know above a grand for that but again Again, if you're looking to have an in-home simulator and you and you want the extra protection that's gonna be something that's available to you what I would recommend go ahead and stop by part to pro it's gonna be a link in description down below that you guys can take a look at they are what I would consider if you're looking for golf simulation stuff the best people to talk to when it comes to that check out their videos they do all sorts of videos on all types of golf simulators netting they have systems packages that you guys can take a look at the second net we want to talk about um, mesh net that's going to be easily retractable easily moved up and down or taken down whatever you guys want to do this was what i used first for what i had and and really it's just making sure that you get the right net that can handle the impact what you want to look at is going to be the thickness of the rope or the nylon as well as how big the diameter of each square is the smaller the diameter the more it's going to have the stopping power to prevent balls from flying through however the smaller the diameter or smaller of the square, the more expensive it costs. And you guys go out and look, trying to find something that has about the size of a quarter, which is less than an inch box on each side. That's going to allow the ball to stop. That's going to keep the cost down. The one I bought on eBay was called Dynamax. It's a three quarter inch square, uh, and it cost me like 60 or 70 dollars i actually bought the bigger one about a 10 by 12 to make sure that i could cover some of the sides because i have little kids who are going to try and hit golf balls and i want to make sure that they were going to hit that it wouldn't cause any damage you can get them anywhere i think between 8 and 8 and 15 by 15. they come with huge variety of sizes that you guys are looking for i found that it actually works really really well i had it in my old house i put a bar went across the top put some carabiners and hooked it up to the net. I put a sheet behind it so the net stopped the ball, but I could put a projector as well and, and have it shine from the back so that I could still see the screen. So that was a simple do-it-yourself simulator idea. It, it, it wasn't the prettiest, you know, the, the, the screen got messed up a lot. It's not like the high-end thousand dollar ones. So that's another option for netting if you guys are looking for in-home golf nets. Finally, guys, we get to the portable net and this is the that I'm actually using right now. I use it for all of my golf reviews when I do dry ball testing. I've taken it out when we've used it at the golf team so we can do a little warm up if they don't have a large enough practice area. It allows easy portability, easy setup, easy teardown, and that's going to be the Rucket Hack 
golf net. It comes in this nice little carrying case here. You can see it zips up and it has, I think, like six pieces all together. And you can see there's the net. It's easy to set up, easy to tear down, which I'm going to demonstrate for you right now. All right, guys, we're gonna set up the Rucket Hack golf net. Let's see how long it takes. Go. There we go, net's up. And you can hit into it. Like I said, I really like it. It goes in easy. It absorbs the ball really, really easy. It also allows it to come back at you, obviously on concrete. You have to make sure you have some carpet. I put some carpet down here to try and get the ball to bounce on it so it doesn't go bouncing and bounding all the way down. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. If you guys are looking for a portable net, I've looked all around and a lot of research. I like the Rucket, I like their pop-up one but I've seen that they have a lot of problems with bending and tweaking and torquing. It doesn't necessarily stay up. This is a little bit more cumbersome and setting up than that one, but I feel like it's more rigid. It's gonna last longer and you can get some packages with it as well. If you're looking for a golf net or something to use during the winter time, I hope those three options kind of gave you a little bit of an idea of what's out there so you guys can choose and see uh, what is gonna fit in your space. I look forward to hearing your comments down below. If you guys have a net, put that down below. If you guys are looking for one which one do you think you're gonna be purchasing if you're gonna be getting one put that down below I want to hear your comments I want to hear any questions you guys have as well I'll be happy to answer those thanks for watching guys and we'll chat with you next time